Good morning, Cheer Force Arkansas family. Uh, just couldn't help myself this morning. Y'all know that uh, on day two of a two-day competition, we try to do a short Bible study or devotional with anybody who we can manage to get five minutes in before y'all have to either warm up or uh, the coaches need to talk over score sheets. So for those of our family who've only ever done one-day competitions, this is uh, such a sweet time that we enjoy together. I couldn't help myself this morning. I just had to share a couple of things with you guys. And uh, so I hope you'll take a few minutes and um, listen maybe and hopefully be encouraged. I was reading back through my journal where I write things and um, I look back toward the 1st of January. You know, a lot of people do um, New Year's resolutions and they promise they're gonna start doing this or stop doing that. And I decided this year after seeing what some people were doing to ask God to give me just a fresh word for this year. Like what what is the word that I'm gonna come back to time and time again? And it was so interesting because I thought the word for last year or a word that I, I hung on to last year um, was was not the right word. But yet every time I kept reading my Bible or read a devotional, this word trust just kept coming back to mind. And I had written in my journal that maybe I got last year's word mixed up with this year. After asking for a word, I kept hearing trust, trust not having any idea that we'd be looking at that word from the perspective that we're in right now. But that word came uh, specifically from Proverbs chapter 3, uh, verses 5 and 6. And it says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you the path to take. And so that word just kept rumbling around and rumbling around, and I just kept thinking about it. And boy, is that true in the days that we're living in right now. And one of the things I had written down that I had read somewhere, that trust is such a lovely world word in a world thoroughly self-indulged and complicated. Yet it is quite simple. It represents freedom and rest and letting go. Living in trust allows my mind and my actions to go where my calling is. And uh, as I thought about that in the, the world that we're living in, boy, trust is such a huge thing. And I hope that maybe I can encourage you. It's really interesting. Um, the last competition that we were at was WSA New Orleans, and uh, this was day two. The Falcons had uh, had Samia get hurt on day one, about an hour before they were to get to compete. And so they were a little rattled uh, day one, still had a good performance, but did have a fall. And so we were talking about on day two, fear. See, fear and worry is the opposite of trust. And I had read these very words to them out of Matthew. And it says, therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life. And then Jesus goes on to talk about all the things that I have to worry about, whether it's food or clothing or all of these things. And then I shared this word with them. Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life. You see, that is so true based on what I just read. See, living in trust allows my mind and my action to go where my calling is. It allows me to be free and to rest because worry is not resting. It's just this thing that you work yourself up to. And so um, I shared that because they were worried, they were scared, and they were trying to figure out, can we do this routine without Samia? You know, what is that gonna look like? And I'll be happy to report that um, they killed that routine. And we can't wait to show that to you. And it was such a beautiful thing for them to just let go and trust each other and go do what their calling was, which that particular day was to go be who they were, level six, small, extra small co-ed cheerleaders. And they created a beautiful thing. And so um, cheerleaders, parents, that's my, hopefully my word of encouragement to you today is just simply trust. We don't have the answers. We don't know how long this thing is going to last, but we're trusting that those doors at Sunshine are going to be open again, and we're going to go back in that gym, and we're going to go back to work, and we're going to do all the things that we would normally do. And I kept thinking about this idea out of James, and James chapter one says, dear brothers and sisters, when trouble your, comes your way, 
consider it opportunity for great joy. Now that one's a little bit hard, but hang on. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance or your perseverance, it could go uh, be said either way, has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance or your perseverance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. So my, what I'm hearing for James is, guys, don't waste this time. Let this difficult time encourage you, have your endurance and your perseverance to grow. Um, and it was funny, as I was thinking about that this morning, this idea came to mind, and I couldn't believe I could put my hands right on it, and I got to show you guys this. I don't even know how, how old this t-shirt is that I'm about to show you, so let me let me show it to you now. Um, hang on, y'all know I'm technologically challenged when it comes to some of this stuff, so let me see if I can make the camera show you guys this. So this is an old t-shirt. I can't even remember what year or what cause for endurance and perseverance it had, but it was a Cheer Force Arkansas shirt and it said forged by grace and grit. See, grace is God's favor and grit. That's where the perseverance and the endurance part comes in. And that's what James was talking about here. So guys, don't waste this time. Keep working out. Keep working hard. Now, don't do anything dumb. We don't need no double fools in the front yard and somebody already injuring themselves. Okay, that's not what we're talking about here. Be safe, be smart, but but rest. Don't be frantic. Don't be worried. Um, we're going to be back. Don't know when, but we're going to be back because God is faithful. And, um, you know, we started Sunshine in 1991, literally on a promise because what we wanted to do was create a place where you guys could come and develop your gifts and your talents and become all that you were intended to be. But this is where that perseverance and that endurance comes in. See, that's grit. That's another word for it is grit. Don't waste this time. Don't get down in the dumps. Don't get bogged down. Um, remember what I said? How can worrying even add an hour? It can't. Worry can't uh, keep a stunt in the air. Worry can't uh, fix a tumbling pass. I mean, all those things. Um, instead, we're going to trust and we're going to rest and we're going to believe and we're going to encourage one another. And this is the last thought I want to leave you with here. And it comes from uh, 1 Peter. And he says this. Let me get it. 1 Peter chapter 4, um, verse 10. I got several different translations here, but I think I'm going to read out of this one because I like it best. He said, each one of you should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. So every one of you guys are gifted. We've seen you use your gifts and talents in such incredible ways. But I don't know how you're going to be called to use your gift today. But use it to serve others right now. Maybe that means encouraging your parents. Maybe that means encouraging your coaches. Maybe that means encouraging your teammates. Um, but guys, God is faithful and we are absolutely confident that, uh, the doors to sunshine will open soon, hopefully rather than later, and that we're going to be back at it and working hard. But again, don't waste this time. As James said, let this time develop your perseverance and your endurance. In other words, develop your grit. I don't remember why or what situation caused that t-shirt to be created. I just know that whatever it was felt like a big deal at the time, just like this feels like a big deal right now. But you're loved. You be blessed. Use your gifts and talents right now in ways that you never even thought possible. We're already hearing incredible stories about some of the things you guys are doing for your teammates, for kids on other teams. Keep it up. We all need to hear from each other. Just know that you are greatly loved, that we are praying for you, uh, we're blessing you, and uh, you guys be sure and do all the work, um, both physically, emotionally, and especially spiritually. Trust God, uh, just like the Israelites did. And I want to close on this one thought. See, um, back in the day when Israel was um, wandering around in the desert, and God had said that uh, Israel was to go out and pick up their breakfast and basically their meal every morning. It was called manna. 
Um, and they were to do it one day at a time. Don't gather two days because it'll go bad, except if you were to gather it because the Sabbath was the next day. And I read this uh, lady who wrote this devotion and he said, she said this, how often we're wowed by God's goodness. Like when they walked out and dinner was on the ground and they just had to gather it up only to find ourselves moaning about persevering in it. Remember I just read about James it said Israel wandered in the desert for 40 years and God provided everything they truly needed. God has limitless options for providing for his people. But he chose to Israel to demonstrate his provision one day at a time. No more and no less. Because he wanted his children to anticipate his faithfulness, to receive it, to gather it, and to feast from it, and then to repeat the process the next day. So that's what I want to encourage you guys with today. God is faithful we will get through this. He's going to provide one day at a time, but persevere. Who knows? We may have to make a new t-shirt forged by grace, God's blessing, and grit, which is the endurance and the perseverance when it comes in. We love you guys. Hope you all have a great day, even though it's raining. So thankful for the sunshine yesterday. Hopefully there will be more to come. So to all the CFA family, God bless you. Amen.